All right, guys, we're back with a man with a master fucking plan. So, what do we got going on for this, with the fishing season this year? What's going on with salmon right now? Yeah, we're, we're in a hard time, everybody. I'm James Stone, the president of NorCal Guides and Sportsmen's Association, fighting for your fisheries right now. I want to tell you, we've got a lot of things going on right now that are hurting our communities all out there. So, appreciate this opportunity. Me. You know, talk to everybody, uh, you know, whole intruder, thank you very much for the uh, the voice and the platform. But what we got going on for salmon right now is that we're seeing numbers coming back from last year with no fishing going on. No fishing off the Oregon coast in the ocean, no fishing off the California coast. We had all the inland rivers closed, and now we have the lowest numbers coming back inside the Sacramento River. Remember that Sacramento River is managed on all three rivers combined, Sacramento, Feather, and American. Yep. We've got to remember that. If one of the rivers is hurting, it hurts all three, and that is managed by the federal government. The McCallamy River is a separate fishery. It's managed by the state for harvest as well as implemented by the commercial fleet, paying for those fish for enhancement fish to catch more fish out in the ocean. So the McCallamy is managed completely separate. What we're seeing is, is this disconnect. We call it the oasis out in the ocean, right? We've been seeing lots of fish out in the ocean because we're catching all these McCallamy fish. But unfortunately, what's really happening when we come inland is that we're starting to see the degradation of the Sacramento. Okay. We're seeing mainly on the main stem this problem, right? Last year, we're seeing less than 10,000 fish coming back on the main stem of the Sacramento. It's one of the all-time lows, if not the, the worst it's ever been in the history. The Feather River saw about 35,000 fish come back total, which is about an average run on the Feather River with fishing. Remember, there was no fishing, right? The American River saw the same, about 35,000 fish coming back. So we take those, 35, 35, and 10, you're looking somewhere right around 80,000. A couple thousand fish on the Yuba River, which is the tributary off of the Feather, okay. which counts also, right? So don't forget that. But all the other tributaries, we're still at 90,000 fish at the maximum. That's nowhere near the minimum of 122,000 that we normally have in the river in order to open a season. So what are we looking at? 2024 is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking like they're going to probably close the salmon seasons again. We are going to try to fight for the right to have some type of fishery for some of these state-managed fisheries. So you might see some advocacy for the McCallamy Inland. You might see some advocacy for the Eel and the Smith River, which are independently managed. We got to remember that every fishery is managed differently. But the main two Sacramento rivers are the Klamath Trinity and the Sacramento Valley. Those are the main two that are managed by the federal government and dictate the majority of the salmon policy. So on behalf of NorCal Guides, we just came out with a new documentary. Go check it out on YouTube. It's called Long Live the King. And that documentary, if you find it on our YouTube channel, is going to explain everything that I'm talking about. It just got released here at the ISE show here on January 18th, and it's gonna be broadcasted all throughout social media. It's telling you the truth of what happened to the fishery in 2023. How come we didn't realize this was happening sooner? And what are our fisheries managers doing to better it for all of you? So I just want to let everyone know to stay strong, stay diligent. We're going to keep fighting to make sure that we get this fishery open as soon as possible. We're advocating to raise more fish. We're advocating to protect our fish in the river. And hopefully with some proper common sense, the government's going to do what's right and we're going to be reporting good news real soon. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome.